Yo, 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 guys, it's your boy Ipromagics here today, and today we are pulling a different trailer. So, this trailer you are looking at now is 24 tons of pure steel. This is a digger heading down to Southampton for one of our new plants over in France being built. So, this will be shipped over to France in the near future, and I definitely know it won't be me pulling it over there. So, this trip is currently from Newcastle down to Southampton, which is a total of 594 kilometers, or a total of 471 miles. Um, once we do get down towards Southampton, I start getting a little bit of, um, how would you call it, like a little bit of a crosswind catching my trailer. So I do veer out a little bit, but that's my fault. I could have, uh, I could have not really veered. I could have kept myself in the lane. I could have kept myself a lot more uh, concentrated on the road. But when you're on such a long haul drive, this was a total of about nine hours. Um, I didn't take none of my breaks right until the end of the day. Uh, I did ask my boss if I could do a 35 minute just before I left so I did have enough driving time to get down there in the first place um, so when I was hooked up to that trailer I waited about 35 40 minutes before I actually set off which would have given me my all my legal time for driving which is brilliant and as of now I'm currently sitting on my 15 minute break um, going over into my night like my night break in Southampton now and uh, this is where I'm editing, so which is good. As you can see, uh, there's a little bit of a strong crosswind joining on some of these roads here. Uh, so I do start veering ever so slightly, but I could have uh, corrected that and uh, definitely, definitely not have like swerved as much as I did. But hey, it's a bit too late now to uh, say you're sorry, really, and try and re-correct it. But hey, this is a learning experience for myself. I'm not used to driving the S-Series uh, Scania. I have been in uh, MANs, things like that, so I'm quite used to the high positioning, but like with a low center of gravity kind of thing, so everything's like low bottomed, so I can swing a trailer around and I won't feel like I'm tipping, but with this, you have a little bit of a top heavy wagon, so you go to turn a little bit and the top starts going it's like oh I don't want to turn too much just in case but hey that's the only fault I have with this truck at the moment that is a bit top heavy but that could be due to the fact that I have a whacking great chrome light bar on the roof with four lights two Michelin men and a load of beacons but hey what can we do there so at this point in time we are coming up to about the three quarters of the way there uh, we do get a little bit closer and uh, when we get about just to the other end of this tunnel if I remember correctly we do get a call from one of the other drivers um, as I explained in last night's episode or yesterday's episode um, we delivered a trailer to Newcastle with canned beef in it uh, to a Euro goodies yard uh, which got tipped and uh, moved away into another storage yard that they use and I get a phone call asking where I put the trailer so I told the guy that was uh, collecting it and he couldn't find it so I had to find the boss tell him and he basically said someone else got it so I ha unfortunately had to tell another driver that someone kind of got there before him and he wasn't too happy because he was on his returning trip back to Grimsby from uh, France uh, not France oh, Sweden so he picks up his trailers from Newcastle upon Tyne then he will drive the short distance just around the corner to drop it off back at the main yard or our distribution center uh, which where well where we tip and reload the trailers so we are just over halfway now which is very very good timing we are actually flying through this delivery um, and I quite enjoyed heading back down towards my hometown 
Uh, I'm a London boy born and bred, hence White Hart being called the wagon, and the three Tottenham players sitting on the back. Uh, well, not sitting on the back normally, but airbrushed on the back of the cab. Um, so, at this point, we are currently just passing Birmingham. We will be heading into the M25, M11 district. Not Birmingham, beg your pardon. Um, oh, God, where is it? I know where I'm on about, but you just get onto the M25 area, then you join the M11, and then join onto the M3, heading down to Southampton. So about now-ish, you will see London IKEA to the left. Yeah, so we are in London now. So now we are on the M25 route. Um, then we'll just be coming up further up here. We'll be doing a left or right onto the M11. Uh, following the M11 round to the M3 and straight down to Southampton we go. So at this point, I'm starting to get a bit drowsy. I'm very, very tired. You've got to remember... This is a nine hour trek. I've been driving this wagon since about six o'clock this morning. Um, collected the trailer at seven. Got to the fuel station about 7.15 just outside of Newcastle. And uh, hit the road just for... <coughs> excuse me, for 7.30. So now we are currently on the M3, I believe. I can't think of how quick we got onto the M3, but we wasn't on there long due to the fact that there was no traffic as it's like midnight-ish, it's at about half past 11 kind of air time. So it's pretty, pretty dead. So all the main lorries and the distribution centers are shutting kind of thing for their late nights. And getting the late night shifts out and getting them ready for the new morning shifts. So there's a few cars on the road, like two sitting next to me at the minute. And yeah, so we are on the final approach now heading towards Southampton. Uh, this is where we start hitting the 30 mile an hour, uh, 50 mile an hour dual carriageways heading down into Southampton. Um, just as we come round this bend, there is a left hand loop de loop. Or a left hand loop turn that we have to take. Uh, not this one, this one here, sorry. Uh, the loop de loop turn. Heading down into uh, where, where the yard is, pretty much, of Tree Et, uh, where we are delivering the yard. So, about now we start flashing our beacons so we can get them on, ready for the back roads, and makes it a bit more visible for oncoming traffic. And the potential like visibility of the yard so they can see the beacons on so they can start opening the gates unfortunately I missed the break time for him to open the yard uh, if I had slide forward slightly here you will see him there on the right uh, he just managed to open it and this is unfortunately where we have our accident could have been uh, avoided but hey well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Guys, just before we end the video, I want to say a massive thank you for non-copyright sounds for letting me use Let Me In as the background tunes.